Well, he was the first aircraft passenger in British Columbia, and he did it on a wing in 1912. Bill Hewitt was a brave flyer, and he lived to tell about it. Bruce Kirkpatrick reports on This Week in History. The pilot was Billy Stark, his passenger James Hewitt, a newspaper reporter in Vancouver, strapped to a board on a wing and lifted into the air. Hewitt becoming the first aircraft passenger in BC, April 24, 1912, 101 years ago this week in history. And it was fabulous, although uh, uh, Mr. Hewitt said he was afraid he'd be blown into space. In July 1913, Alice McKee Bryant became the first woman pilot in Canada flying out of Minaru Park in Richmond. Right after her first flight, tragedy struck along Victoria's Inner Harbour. Little did she know that two weeks later her husband would be killed in Victoria demonstrating a, a new way of putting floats onto aircraft. He crashed into a roof and uh, was the only person injured, but he was killed. William Stark, the fellow who flew James Hewitt on his first ride, and his wife Olive flew their pusher biplane for some time. Air travel became the subject of cartoons, a dangerous pastime perhaps, between Victoria and Vancouver. But it survived and air travel unlocked the province, long before roads connected rural outposts. Suddenly they connected rural communities. If you had a lake, uh, you had instant communications at, with a radio and an aircraft. With Vancouver, people could deliver supplies, the mail. If you had a medical emergency, somebody could get you out. The First World War opened up aviation too in a big way. The giant spruce trees of Haida Gwaii became the wood of choice for building aircraft. But... The egg got very cold and you needed a new style of clothing for this. So these jackets would button across the front to keep the cold out. By 1920, there was a flying boat station at Jericho Beach in Vancouver. 1920, a Curtis HS-2L flying boat at Alert Bay. And the first parachute jump in B.C. at Jericho Beach in 1923. A Sikorsky float plane in Esquimalt Harbor, 1932. And by the Second World War, it was still cold up there. Uh, pilots quickly found out that fleece made the best lining for flying jackets and trousers, and this pair is from a bomber in World War II. William Drury's goggles are at the Royal BC Museum, a flyer from Oak Bay. Robert Cinnamon's World War I uniform, Cinnamon from Salt Spring Island. And an envelope marking Amelia Earhart's visit to Vancouver in 1933. The Royal Flying Corps became the Royal Canadian Air Force. Metal took over wood construction, and aviation was here to stay. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.